So, yeah, I forgot to record the game audio for like the entire first 45 minutes of the episode. So there's just going to be like uh, some background music, some like Zelda lo-fi in there. My bad. It won't happen again. Also, I just really liked how this episode turned out commentary wise. So I decided just to keep it in. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Wicker HD. Last time we made our way over to Dragon Roost Island. We uh we became the uh the, the postman of the sea. We be, we did the uh the best job that um, and that an American hero could possibly ever ask for, and uh today we're gonna be another hero and hopefully conquer the Dragon Roost Cavern. But uh yeah, Dragon Roost Cavern is the first dungeon in uh the Wind Waker, and uh this dungeon is definitely pretty easy. But I mean I definitely will say that uh it's very uh it's very nostalgic if, if you've played Windmaker before. But yeah, anyway, without any further ado, let us begin. And uh, Link is a, uh, a big giant pot breaker because uh, if, if you guys saw that YouTube short, then I, <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to um, move these out of the way. And in this room, you'll be greeted by two Bokoblins, which by the way, later on... Um, like I said before, we do need to gather up some, uh, some, some joy pendants. These guys are just passed out. Oh, he just woke up. Oh, okay. I was literally in front of this guy the, the, the entire time. And he, <laughs> and it, and his buddy over there is still asleep. You guys just now woke up. Jeez, man. Guys are sleeping on the job. What's Master Goma gonna? I mean, uh, Master Who? Sorry, I uh, I didn't catch that name. Who the hell? Who's Goma? I, I I've, I've never heard of that person in uh, or creature in my entire life. What could I possibly be talking about? Anyway, though, light these up. Uh... Oh, okay. Or you could run out that's always nice thank you do that and a lovely treasure chest will appear grab the chest and you got yourself a small key now usually i now in in, in later parts on in the dungeon there will be like these little pot things and like what you have to do is you have to like burn the wood i don't usually do that but i mean if you have to like go back and forth between like the uh, between dragoners and there for like whatever reason you can definitely like break uh can definitely burn those uh, those pots and stuff like that the dragoners cavern you guys are about to see when you look out there's a big gigantic room and it's filled up with lava this is basically uh ocarina's time version of a death mountain Death Mountain is actually a pretty cool um, level two in uh, in Ocarina of Time. Like I told you guys, I I've, I've played Ocarina of Time, but only up to the Spirit Temple. And I don't know why I, I I've always just just not finished Ocarina of Time. I just I just got bored and like I really can't explain it. But I mean I later on like like in maybe like in 2024 I'll I'll pick it up again and uh, I'll give it another shot. It looks like it, I mean like it's a fun game to play. But for like whatever reason, I just got bored of, of playing it. Like I like I know I say it's fun, and then I'm like, oh, but I I, I was bored with it. But no, I, I really was bored with it. But like in the very very beginning, I was having fun. I think honestly, like what it is about like Nintendo 64 games is probably just the aspect of just the crappy controls. And like I tried playing like on the 3DS, but it's really really weird. But I like I cannot play a game that was intended to be on like a console like on on like a 3d handheld like i just didn't like sitting there like with the handheld in my hand like I, i'd rather look at a tv like when i play a game like that so i think like probably what i'll wind up doing is like i if, if you have like nintendo switch online you can actually play ocarina of time via that one of you guys actually left um a, a comment about like which version uh, ocarina of time was like uh, the best one to play and um Shoot, man. I think, uh, one of you, I think one of you guys mentioned actually, um, it was like a modded version or, you know, you know, no, that, that was Majora's Mask. I'll, I'll actually go back and, um, and reread that comment again, but 
I'll figure out like what version of Ocarina of Time like I want to play and like I actually like want to give it another try. I definitely won't want to play the Oracle games later on here though, but for now, I'm gonna play Wind Waker. Because this is one of my favorite because this is my favorite video game of all time. And something that I always did as a kid, I always used to rush up here and I will I'd always get hit by the choo-choo. After a while, like I started kind of like getting like a because because I've done Dragon Roost Caverns. Oh, thank you so much, Lava, for taking my heart. I really do appreciate it. But every time I um I would basically come up here. The choo-choo up here would always used to hit me down. Like, I I don't know. Like, but I, I, after playing it, like, for, for a few times, I already know he's up there. And, like, I'll, I'll always wait for him to hop, and, like, I'll just go skip him. Also, I an, another thing here, too. Watch this. Yep. Instinct, baby. Instinct. I'm psychic. I am psychic. I know where exactly where these guys are going to appear. The game cannot touch these mad... These mad skills. I'm too good. Didn't mean I, I, I forgot with um with Windmark with Windmaker HD, it's actually uh this is it's the A button the swing? Yeah, it's like a sword because like in um in regular Windmaker, it's actually the B button the swing, so it's actually kind of a uh, kind of interesting. It's like you it's the, the B button to throw. Yeah, in, in this game it's just weird because like in in standard Windmaker, B's the swing, and this game a is the swing, and B is the throw. It's like, what? Like, I don't know why, like, they changed that, but... Pretty interesting. I don't know why. This is, that's also on the Pro Controller. Maybe, uh, maybe the gamepad's different. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not. I should know this. I play this game a lot. I say that in, like, like every freaking episode. Like, I play this game a lot. Like, clearly, like, shut up. Okay. Did you drop any red choo-choo? You did not. Um, do we, do we even have any red choo-choos? Any red choo-choo jelly? We have five. Okay, I think we need 20. And then we can go talk to uh, the weird guy on uh, on a windfall. The, the, I, mean, I kid you guys not. Like, the, the, the guy at that shop is kind of a nut. Like, the way, like, how he talks. Like, the the music, like, in the shop. Like, the guy's just kind of just a little, uh, just a little off. Speedrunning tactic. Back in the uh, back in the standard version of Wind Waker, um, was it? You know, actually, I don't think it was this one, or was I don't know. But there was like a, there was like a place in here, and if you have the Tingle Tuner, you could actually get the uh, the Tingle statue for this place. I've only ever gotten the Tingle statues once, and that was when I was that was when I was a kid, and I did that that one hundred percent run. Or actually, I think I've done that twice. I don't know. It, it, it's been so long since I like fully one hundred percent of Wind Waker. Like, I've gotten the, um, like, obviously, uh, like, all, all the hearts and stuff like that, and, like, the majority of, like, the treasure charts, but actually, like, 100%ing the game, like, when you have, like, uh, all the figurines, all the side quests, and, like, everything, basically, like, your equivalent of, like, 100%ing Breath of the Wild and have, like, all the Korok seeds, yeah, sorry, I will never do that. I sometimes like the 100% games, but you will never see me 100%ing uh, Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild. Which, by the way, I still have not actually finished Tears of the Kingdom yet. I've only beaten two out of the four dungeons. I need to. I need to stop slacking. Maybe I should. Maybe I'll, I'll LP that man. There, there's so many dope games that I can LP. You climb up uh, this thing right here. You know, it's actually that, like, the, the ladder isn't made out of wood, though. Because, like, it, it, if the ladder was truly made out of wood, then I feel like, you know, with, like, like freaking gouging lava popping out of the, uh, the, the landmass, like, you would... Like, th this ladder would have, like, eventually burned down, but I guess not. What's up, Mr. Kargarok? You want to get a rock thrown in your face? Come on, man. Oh, sucks to be you, sucker. I'm dying for that gold feather. Fuck no! I missed the freaking golden feather, man. Oh shit. Is it still there? Man, I could have gotten a golden feather, but I, I jumped off. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. 
I thought that the golden feather was gonna like fall off, so I figured like I would like jump after it. But apparently not. All right, so with that, I had to make a cut. I had to write down, uh, you, you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while that I have like a, a notebook and stuff like that that I have like notes. Please don't burn me that I make it. Okay, good, I made it. All right, Buster. Give me my golden feather, bud. Come on, man. Give me, give me my golden feather. I will, no, no, this time I will jump for it. Oh, never mind. One rupee. Pfft. It's ass. Excuse me. Ooh, nah, we're, we're, we're not getting burned there. Sit there, Link. I don't want his beautiful blonde locks to get, uh, to get burned, unfortunately. God, Windmark HD looks so beautiful. Speedrun tactic. Spamming the, spamming the left stick. I don't even know if that, that, that's actually how the speedrunners do it. I've not watched a Windmaker HD speedrunning. God, maybe like over a couple years now. Like, I don't even really know, like, who's got world record now. I don't even know, like, who has been, like, making, like, all the plays. I need to go down there and, uh, and see what's up with the Woodmaker speedrunning community. Because Woodmaker speedrunning community was, uh... I remember back, back in the day when Cosmo was doing, um... Uh, Woodmaker, uh, was it, yeah, it was HD and standard Woodmaker, too. At, uh, at AGDQ. I can't believe that. That was ten years ago. 2013. That was a long time ago. Wow. I remember, uh, yeah, Cosmo had the world record for a long time, and then uh, I think it was Gymnast who, who eventually came and broke it. It's crazy. Some of you guys uh, probably don't even know like what the hell I'm talking about, but if, if you have the chance, definitely watch a um, a Woodmaker speedrun. For the longest time, speedrunners could not figure out how to... Um, you guys know, actually, no. Uh, I'll just say barrier skip. And you and you and you guys uh, that 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 have watched it, or have an idea about what "quote unquote" barrier is, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I don't want to spoil enough for the people that have never played uh, Windmaker before. Jokes on you, King of the Red Lions! I already showed this off in the uh, in the Forsaken Fortress a couple episodes ago. Jokes on you, Chief! Aha! You little, f how dare you take my money? Hey, where are you going? Did, did he get stuck inside of the free- what? This dude got st he t took my money, I tried killing him, and then he got stuck inside the cube. Okay. That was, uh... That was interesting. Okay. Alright, wrote that down, I wrote down that YouTube short. Ah, that, that's definitely gonna be a short. I like the YouTube shorts because I can, um, I mean, any like little short segment is, is content. I can literally take like the dumbest thing and you know, if it, if it's funny and, and people like it, cool. Like what I consider to be like the dumbest things, like I hope someone finds hilarious because I find it funny. Someone else out there might find it funny. If people don't find it funny, well then I, I guess, there's, I guess there's nothing I can do about that. But I post whatever I consider is funny, and if people like it, cool. If, if people don't, you know, oh well. <laughs> what can you do? But I mean, like, the shorts definitely help grow the channel a lot. I know, I know some of you are actually here uh, from the YouTube shorts, and if you guys are here from the YouTube shorts, you know, that's, that, that's sick. What's cool about the YouTube shorts is, like, it helps me build an audience that's not part of Mystic Umbreon. And, like, I'm not saying that, you know, that people from Mystic Umbreon are bad. I'm just saying, like, I just think it's cool that we have another audience that's outside of my Pokemon stuff, you know? It, it it It's brand new people. I think it's sick. So, if you're here from the YouTube shorts, um, I guess let me know down in the comment section below. That'd be kind of cool if you were. YouTube shorts really, really does uh, help out a lot. And I also recently made a, a, a TikTok, too, where I'm going to be posting, like the, like, the same exact highlights. Maybe help the channel get like a little bit of growth and stuff like that. I don't know, but I've been I've, I've been having fun doing uh, the shorts and stuff like that too. The highlights are actually like hysterical. Okay, so basically, like uh, for this bird or uh, the cargo rock, he's uh, sitting on the key to the next room. Literally, pick up a rock, throw it, and he's dead. Like bam. Oh, dude, making me making me want to jump off that that freaking cliff for the uh, for the um. 
for the golden feather, dude. I, I really, really want that golden feather. Well, I will be back here in a little while, by the way, to go and collect more golden feathers. I might do that in the next episode, but I will see. Okay, no, I need to um, actually light that uh, that light that torch up real quick. Boom. Okay. Joy pennant. Good. We uh, we definitely need need more of those. Um, I will probably take care of joy pendant stuff later because if, they, if this were standard wind wicker, if I was able to collect 40 joy pendants, I would get that out of the way. But in wind wicker HD, the item that you would actually get for collecting 40 joy pendants is actually in a different location. And, um, I actually only realized that like a couple uh, months ago when I was playing wind wicker, I think the last time I played wind wicker HD was, uh, June of this year. So it actually hasn't even been like that long. It's, it's only been like six months. Like I said, I play Windmaker multiple times a year. Whether it be a randomizer of a of, of vanilla playthrough, I, I'm, I'm always finding ways to play this game, dude. I can, I should honestly d d just speed run it at, at this point in time. But the, the issue with me speed running is like speed running takes a lot of time. And I mean, especially like, you know, trying to like get frames, trying to get storage, like, you know, that, that, that all takes constant hours of practice. And that's just something that I just don't have the time to do. If I had like, like, you know, more free time and like, you know, I didn't have like other things I, I was like doing currently like at the moment, I definitely like would pursue that. But as of right now, no. Maybe in the future though, I, I definitely will consider speed running this game, but I don't know. I'll find out. I know getting storage with a certain item is like, has, has honestly made it like a lot easier, but getting like a super swim, like in the very beginning of, of the game is actually a... I don't know, it, it's just like, like, and also, like, I would have to get, like, um, and I think, I'm not sure if I would need an Italian Wii U, because, uh, speedrunners use, uh, the Italian version of Windmaker because it has the fastest text. So, I don't know, um, there's, like, a meme, pausa, and, like, like the, the, the very, very beginning of Windmaker when you're on outset trying to do, like, the, the speedrunning glitch. It's, it, it, it's pretty crazy. I, I, I highly recommend watching, uh, a speedrunner, a uh, speedrun of Windmaker HD. If, if you guys have not ever watched one, they're really, really fun, and the runners uh, in, in the community are hella entertaining to watch too. Really, really am amazing community, and like you know, figuring out like all the different texts and like all the techniques. It, it, speedrunning is just so sick, and like the 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 players that like that actually do the speedrunning, it's like they are so skilled and just it's just in incredible to watch, dude. Highly, highly, highly recommend watching it. Is that all? Um, I think we, yeah, okay, so there's one more item that we can get here, I think. Yeah, okay. I believe if you get this torch, I think you get a joy pendant. I could be wrong about that. Let me see. If it's a joy pendant, I will get down and do 10 push ups. Actually, no, that's not a joy pen. That might, might actually be something else. Maybe it's a treasure chart. Yeah, no way that, that, that that's a flipping joy pen. And this is either, I think this might be a treasure chart. Okay, yeah, I was right. Some of these treasure charts, though, um, you're not, we're not going to be able to get these until later on in the game. Because right now in, in the, uh, where we are at in the game, uh, King of the Red Lions will not let you sail to because we have yet to get a weapon that um that can actually be used on the great sea are you a bull goblin oh no oh, you're a joy pendant okay so wait a minute if that was a joy pendant does that mean that like the bull goblin like died inside the barrel like <laughs> it's kind of dark man but yeah there there will be a point in time in the game where we, we will be able to sail uh to all the different islands and stuff like that but currently right now where we are we're way too early in the game uh we definitely cannot we'll probably be able to do it maybe like four or five episodes from now though and I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate uh, the treasure charts and stuff like that. Will I get every single one of them? Uh, I don't know. Possibly, possibly not. I probably also won't show off, like, all the locations and stuff like that. Like, I'm not trying to, like, fully 100% the game. Does the... Does the mini... Does the mini little centipede thing... Oh, crap, I fell in the water. And the lava might be... Okay. I think the Goma comes back if you don't kill it. <sighs> I 
Okay. We're going to do this again. I'm going to prove that I am a semi-competent player. And you're going to fall in the lava, which means... Uh, oh, I almost fell in again. Holy crap, we got to be careful here. You'll never take me alive! Oh, no, not again. Okay, so what you're trying to do, right, is... Um, or you know what? The hell with it. We're just going to kill you. Yeah, goodbye. Please don't backflip in. Okay, good. Whew. Uh, I will take that heart. Thank you very much. Okay. Jump across. Grab the pot. Throw. Oh. Okay. Throw that in there. I'm almost positive if I jump on this, the lava geyser. Okay, yeah. So the, the lava geyser will shoot you up. Jump across. Bam. Uh, and of course we can't get across here because, gee, I wonder what that is. And what you can do, uh, I don't know if you guys remember me telling you about this, but in the very, very beginning of the dungeon, I mentioned that there were like, uh, warp pots. Here's warp pot in here. And basically, like, uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate, like, like, what the warp pots do. They're basically like checkpoints in the dungeon. And now we're basically back to where the sleeping bow goblins are. Isn't that cool? Wait, you know what? I, I wonder if, if, I, if I can actually get these guys to beat the crap out of each other. I wonder if I can actually get them to, to like whack one another. That that's always entertaining. Can can you whack this guy? Come on, man, whack him! Yeah, whack him, dude. Dude, it it, it is so entertaining to like watch these guys like beat each other up. <laughs> oh god it is it's just so funny it's like the enemies are so stupid okay that time i got hit okay oh 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 Oh, yes. Do it one more time. It's so it's so entertaining. I, 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 do, I do not know why. Just just, just, just watching the double goblins is just beat the crap out of each other. Here you go. He killed his buddy, and he's just like, what did I do? I didn't mean to kill my friend. <laughs> oh, that's, that is so funny. Okay. My, my entertainment's done. Well, let's progress to the dungeon now. That's hilarious. All right, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna go back. I'm. That's also a YouTube short too. See, like the the, the most entertaining things you can make into a YouTube short. Boom. Like, like all all I have to say is is that's content. Oh, actually, I went backwards, didn't I? Okay, that that's okay. All right. Um, we'll go in one more time. Yeah, that's right. Okay. One more time. All right, back, uh, back here. Now take the bomb again, and um, we are actually getting, I think, to around to, to the halfway point of the dungeon so far. Boop, 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 boop. And as you guys, and as we saw at the very, very beginning when we went to Dragon Roost Island. Uh, you guys noticed uh, the Dragon Valu. Well, we we have literally climbed all the way up to the pretty much almost the top of Dragon Roost Island. So we've actually came out. Oh my goodness! And would you look at that? The the stairs have fallen. That's what? all right. I guess I had to make a uh, a quick cut. Okay, let's um take on these. Uh, this is the, 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 these are essentially the, the the mini bosses. If you guys remember the um, the green bill goblins from um, for, from the Forsaken Fortress, that that one that we fought in front of the door, getting to Arl, yeah, we uh, we have to fight two, or we did. 
And now we got the big boy. Do you guys remember the, those guys from the Forsaken Fortress? Those guys that were basically sentries? Yeah, now we gotta fight one. You know what? Let's make this a little bit... Let's make this a challenge. I always like to mix up these fights a little bit. Boom! Boom! Ooh, got him. Oh, dang it. Mine. Ha ha! <laughs> uh, it's always funny to mess with the NPCs. And, uh, yeah, Medley got taken. And now we, uh, we basically just, just rescued her. Now, um, if you actually, uh, hit those little crystal thingies, we will get a skull necklace. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to want to hold on to, to some skull necklaces as we progress through the game. Trust me, we'll, we'll, we will get to a point later on in the game where skull necklaces will be very easy to get. And, uh, you guys will see what skull necklaces are for a little bit later. I'll go ahead and, and uh, I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. But yeah, we, we talked to Medley. Like, you can't rescue me. Medley, you're my favorite character in all of Zelda. One of my favorite. I mean, yeah, I mean, I I like Marin from Link's Awakening. I really like Mifa. Um, I like Nairu from uh, Oracle of Ages. Also, um, Nalan's dad. Talon. Yeah, Talon the milk guy. He's cool, too. So, yeah, we, we find out that there is a monster inside of Valu's room, and he's actually, like, um freaking uh, messing with his tail. And now we get probably one of the coolest items in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, the grappling hook, sorry. If you have ever done speedruns, you guys will know that the grappling hook is a speedrunner's best friend. This thing is goaded. You can do so many things with it. I do not know how to get storage, but damn it, I will learn how to do it someday. And then I will show off all the cool little mechanics that storage can do. Okay. Bye, Medley. Melly's cool. Now she flies off. Oh, I would, would even get to see her fly off. Valu is angry. You know what? Maybe I, I can get like a, a, a pictograph of Valu. I wonder if I can actually use that um, for like the gallery later on. Can I get like a shot of him? Maybe from like here. That's his head. Um... Nah, I think I actually need to get, like, a full-blown, like, picture of him. Valu, I need you to hold still, buddy. Yeah, I'm not gonna come- I'm not gonna be able to get him. I wonder how you actually do get a picture of Valu, like, for the gallery. I have not done the gallery in, like, in, like a long time, but, like, I I'm starting to, like, think, like, you know, maybe I could do it for some, uh... For some fun. Like I said, I've, I've only won, I've only done hundred percent of the gallery in Dom um, in regular Windmaker for the GameCube. I have not, I have not one hundred percent of uh, Windmaker HD. I think I've played Windmaker, Windmaker HD like five or six times. It's I, I've definitely played more of a regular Windmaker over HD. But I mean, like they're pretty much like the same game, just a couple of things are different. It's not like drastically different. The only difference, yeah, like the, the main difference is obviously better graphics and for the Wii U. I actually like the Wii U as, as a console. I, th I think it's actually kind of underrated, like in like a lot of ways too. Plus, the Wii U had like a lot of like virtual console stuff. Like, I mean, I, I was playing uh, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones a little while ago on stream, and I was having a blast. I might play a Fire Emblem game on here. I might. Uh, I was, I'm thinking about playing Echoes. Bye. <laughs> I'm so mean. 
Uh, do we? Oh, oh, okay. Come on, man. Over here. Over. Oh, that sucks. Come on, jump. Jump. Come on, be stupid and jump. Jump. <laughs> I'm the one who fell. I'm the one who fell. Nice. Good job. Oh boy. I'm the one who fell off. That's that's incredible. Okay. You know what? I guess we're all going to fall. You know what? Yeah, we're all going to fall down. Oh, he got burned. Oh, dude, he burned his ass like like, like freaking Mario did. Like, mamma mia! Ha ho! Wow, wow, wow! If you guys ever played Super Mario Sunshine, you guys like know exactly what, what what I'm talking about. Now, um, what you want to do here is uh, boom. Okay, what? Nah. Okay, do you have to hit it three times? Usually, what what I, I've tried to do is I've usually tried to hit it. Like, I've usually tried to do, like, a spin attack on it. But any time I've ever done a spin attack on it, um, I've always, like, fallen off. Can, can it not reach? Really? I want to do, do I, do I have to move closer? Really? Oh, Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, cool. I think if I were to jump down, I'd probably die. I think I've attempted, unless I do like this. Nah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do the civilized thing and just wait for it. And then now we'll drop down. Bop. Uh, really, game? Uh, really? Oh, there it is again. Sometimes the game is like wonky like that, where like you try to jump up. You try and jump across, but like the game's like, nah. Okay. Let's try it again. Third time's a charm, right? Third time's a charm. Yes, thank you. Okay, good, wonderful. That was uh, mildly frustrating. <laughs> I'll use the um, use the grappling hook now. And the door will open up. And, and like, it, it's, it's really funny because, like, that switch is, like, an exact imitation of, like, what you're going to be doing, like, in, in the, the, the room, basically. What you want to do is you want to, um... You can stop on the grappling hook and you can move yourself around into the direction that you want to go. Very, uh, pretty similar to the, um, the rope game that we did at the very beginning when we were on the pirate ship. Yeah, this is very similar to that. Am I going the right direction? Yeah, 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 I am. What am I talking about? Of course I am. Of course I am. And, um... Uh, what you want to do here... I remember, like, the, the, the first time in this place, I got... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The first time I did this, I got so confused... Because I killed the enemies like over and over and over again, and also that was for visual. That was also for demonstration purposes. I totally didn't do that on a uh, on purpose, or on a uh, yeah. I totally did do that on purpose. I didn't do it on accident. Game, you are just really, really trying to make this hard for me, aren't you? Yeah. Now, now I can't get it out. Okay. 
basically what you want to do is you want to pick up the enemy and you want to put him on the switch because once you press the switch it'll allow you to grab the item box let's hit him you know what I can, I can also just do that alright here we go grab him, pick him up put him on the switch the Nintendo switch ah, see what I did there I'm so funny, haha. <laughs> Please laugh at my jokes. And uh, we will get a dun 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 dun. We're gonna get a big key. Got the big key. All right. Now um, I could, I could show off something that's actually pretty cool. Um, we are going to do something that is called a, uh, what I like to call a teleport. So now that way, we don't have to backtrack. You know, actually, actually, yeah, it actually is a good thing that we're actually going here. Okay, yeah. I actually am glad that, that, that we're going here. Because there is actually something that, like, I want to show off. So basically, like, if you save the game, you'll start off at the very, very beginning of the dungeon. And um, when we're done, I will obviously be heading through the save pot. And, uh will progress to the boss, but I wanted to get one more thing. I didn't mean to do that. Um, how do you... Oh, that's right, I forgot. I'm so used to it being on the, uh, on the gamepad. So, I believe there's actually a treasure chart down here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you want to go across this room. Get that item across. I, I believe there's a treasure chart in there, but I could be wrong. I think there is, though. Ah, cool, we got the treasure chart. Nice. Okay, then after that, um, second floor. I do not know. I mean, if I have to come here and back trigger, like, like I said, I'm not like a 100%ing guy. So, like, I, I might come back. Like, if if I missed anything like important, like, I'll, I'll obviously know. Like, I'll, I'll know. Like, if I, if I have to backtrack here. I actually did not mean to go in that direction. I actually meant to go back. Now, okay, yeah, now head back here, back to the very, very beginning. And then there's a really, really cool trick. Instead of watching these guys fight again, as as much as I love to watch the Bokoblins kick the crap out of each other, <laughs> beat the crap out of each other, I should say. We pretty much hop inside the um, the safe pots, and we can pretty much get back to, to the boss's room with these. That's what's really cool about these uh, about these warp pots is actually you have the uh, the ability to do that. And now you know, and now like you didn't have to waste your time like backtracking and doing all that other annoying stuff. You can just straight up just swing across, go take on the boss of no problem at all. There are a couple items, you know, in in uh, these chests though. I wouldn't say items are probably like rupees. Yeah, like 10 rupees, kind of like a waste of time. Didn't really need that. Hey, I got Knight's Crest. That's actually kind of nice. Knight's Crest, I will explain what those do a little bit later on. We don't need them quite yet. What you could have done, though, is you could have actually captured, um, if you... If you are new to Zelda games, what you can do is you can pick up your empty bottle... And um, if a fairy pops out, you can actually catch one in your bottle like this. Fairies basically are like, if you die, the fairy will come out and will put you back up to full health. It's pretty, uh, they're, they're pretty nifty in Zelda games. I probably aren't going to need a fairy. I'm, I don't remember. I've done a hero. I've done a hero run on this before. I do not remember if, um... Fairies, yeah. Fairies, I believe, do help you out in hero runs. Hero mode is actually really fun in Wind Waker HD. I think I've done like, I've done maybe two hero mode challenges, and I've also done a uh, a three heart run too like a few times. With hero mode intact, I don't remember. 
I think I've done a th I think I've done a three heart run before, but without hero mode because basically if you get hit on hero mode, like you're pretty much like dead in like one shot or two shots. I don't recall if, if I've done that or not before, but three uh, hero mode runs, healing like uh, you hearts basically like don't drop, so it's a little bit more more difficult, and I believe you also take double damage too. So, but yeah, this is Goma. Goma is uh, the the first boss of um, of Windmaker HD in the Dragoner's Cavern, and basically, what you want to do is is you basically want to pull on poor Valu's tail. Hopefully, Link won't burn his butt. The rock will fall on his head, and you probably get the premise. And you can, um, whenever he does that, you can just roll under your item and do that. Crap. Got it. Okay. Sorry, Valu. I don't, I, I don't like pulling on your tail, buddy. I feel so bad for, for, for poor Valu. Like, he's, his poor tail has just been getting yanked, like, the entire time. And, like, Goma has just been messing with him for God knows how long. Oh yeah, and yeah, and uh, the boss's name is Goma. That that that's who I was talk. That's who I was talking about. If it wasn't obvious. And basically, if you hit him with a rock one more time, if you've ever played video games, you will know that three is the magic number. And bye-bye shell. I remember as a kid, I used to think that was disgusting. But now what you want to do is uh, target onto his eye and start to do Kung Fu swords. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. And he's dead. You guys want to know what's really, really, really flipping annoying? I did a test recording, right? And, um, yeah, I, I forgot to turn the, uh, the game volume on. So the game volume has been off the entire time and I probably look like a goofball. But I'm going to keep this recording in because I, I I liked it. Just because we didn't have, like, I mean, like, there's... Having no game volume inside, like, Dragon Roost Island didn't really even really have, like... Like, a, a theme song anyways. Which means you guys also didn't get to hear the, uh, the, the, the Goma theme either. It's not really anything, like, special. But gosh darn it. Dude. I, I did that again. It's like, I always do a test recording, right? And in order for me to hear the test recording in, in Adobe Premiere, I have to mute my game volume when I'm recording it in the Elgato. So I just realized, I'm like, are you flipping kidding me? But I mean, at least you got my voice. It's fine. From now on, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to remember to keep the game volume on. Right after I'm done doing a test recording. So I'm going to make sure to like put that like on my wall. Remember to check. <laughs> but at least we'll be able to, uh, you know, to he hear the final part, which is pretty nice. So. You guys might actually even be able to hear it like through my TV, like a little bit as well. So from like the microphone and stuff, hopefully.
Oh, I love the theme song. I'm I, I'm glad that you guys are at least able to like to watch the scene with the volume on because this scene is probably one of my favorites uh, in, in in all of Windmaker. One of my favorite scenes. Um. God, dude, Dragon Roost Cavern is top 10 Zelda tracks of all time. Do not care what anyone says this. God, man. But what's funny is that Dragon Roost isn't even my, my favorite theme. Y'all find out what that is very, very soon. And we got Din's Pearl. Beautiful, beautiful pearl, by the way. Oh, man, I, I, I love this game. And just the, the pearls is like so gorgeous. Oh, hero. I can actually put um, what he's saying on the screen if you guys want. I can put like a screenshot of what he... Uh, of what he's actually saying in the... Uh, this is actually Ancient Hylian. Already beat you to it, Valu. Ha ha. I like how they have hero in red text. Yeah, go, go and get your skill, buddy. Yeah, I love this game to death, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm just happy to, to just be, be playing this game for all of you on, on a YouTube channel. Honestly, it's like, this has been my dream ever since I was a teenager, and it's just cool to see it coming true. Anyways, though, you guys, I will, uh, I'll see you guys later. Sorry about the volume, by the way. <laughs> Next time that won't happen.